Hello dear friends, I am Cory and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint a desert camouflage for your miniatures. So recently I was in the mood of painting something not too big. I didn't want to paint a huge unit of miniatures and I didn't also want to paint a big miniatures. I want to paint a small kind of an elite unit and so I decided to paint three primaries eliminator that I had in my backlog for quite a while. And my Space Marine chapter is a custom made one, themed around Egyptian and Middle Eastern culture. So you can imagine that there is a lot of sand involved in this. And since these three primary eliminators have very huge cape on their back, I find it as a great opportunity to start looking around for some desert camouflage. And looking around, I have found a lot of different patterns. And after I found one that I was happy with, I decided, hey, why not also doing a video tutorial, since I can't remember the last time I did one. <laughs> So let's go to the hobby table so that I can show you how to paint a desert camouflage pattern on the cape of your miniatures, which in this case are Space Marine, but you don't actually require Space Marine for this. Let's go. <laughs> the first thing that we have to do is applying two nice and smooth base coats to the cape of the model. And for doing so, we need a very bright beige color. In this case, I'm using the color Kaki from Vallejo, but you can use any type of brand that you prefer, like Zundra Dust from Citadel. The next step is to paint some random shapes on the cape. We'll need a dark grey paint to do the job, and the color Storm Vermin Fur from Citadel is the best one for this purpose. For the next part, we'll need a light brown color with a red undertone. I'm using the color Dumble Brown from Citadel. With this color, I'm gonna paint along some of the edges of the grey shapes that I've previously painted. Don't worry about following a specific pattern. Randomness is the key. Now I'm gonna start to agile light the cape. To do so, I'm going to mix a little bit of a ivory, in this case I've used Screaming Skull from Citadel, with the color used before. Now with a nice and sharp brush, I'm going to paint some thin lines with the corresponding color on the raised edges of the cape to simulate the effect of the light. And now the final stage. With a light brown wash, I'm going to glaze the cape, making sure that all the colors blend together nicely. For this step, you'll need to heavily thin down the wash. I would say a mixture of one part wash and five part water, it's okay, but in order to be sure, I would suggest you test it before applying it. Make also sure that the color doesn't settle on the recesses in order to prevent color staining on the model. I'm using the color Light Tone from the Army Painter. And this is the final result. I really like this desert camouflage pattern, especially on these primary eliminators, but I think that it's going to look gorgeous on any kind of miniature themed around that desert landscape. Thank you very much, my friends. Kind of a short video this time, but I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think about this video tutorial, if you had another type of pattern in mind when thinking about desert camouflage. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos in this channel. And down in the description you will find the link to my Instagram, and so if you also want to follow me there, that will make me a very happy guy. I am Cory, and I hope to see you next time.